So I can't see color, I am completely colorblind, and something that I get asked is if I can see other people's skin tones. And the answer is yes and no. I see in shades of light and dark, so I can tell that my skin is lighter, but I don't actually know what color my skin is. Like, if you asked me to put a color name to my skin, I couldn't tell you, because I can't see it. I've been told that ivory is a really good shade match for my skin, so I just buy ivory makeup at the drugstore. So even if I don't have a color seeing person with me, I can just find the bottle that says ivory, and I know that, that will probably match my skin. I don't think skin tone names are necessarily best represented by makeup, but I saw this at the store. These are the colors of the world Crayola markers, and I thought, even if I can't see the colors of the world, I can still make art with them. Even though I can't see the colors, I can tell that this is the darkest shade and this is the lightest shade on this side. And then over here, it goes darkest to lightest. I'm gonna try to find my shade on this side. I think it's really cool to have all the skin tones represented in markers, except now I don't know how I'm gonna find mine. <laughs> I love that Crayola includes the color names on the sides of the products because it means that I don't need a color seeing person to help me with it and I can just sort of use them like everyone else. This one's light golden. I think it might be it. I wonder if I can just swatch it on my arm. You know, I can't really see it on my arm, which might mean it's a match. I do kind of want to draw something with these, so let me know what I should draw. <laughs>